God is watching you. Not only are people watching you, God Almighty himself is watching you. As you follow this sermon, you can think about Peter, but much more, think about yourself. Because this sermon is about your life. God is watching you. And God watches you in advance. Please say after me. God watches you in advance. Even the things that you have not done, that you are planning to do, God had already, has already seen it ahead. In Matthew 26, verse 34 to 35, he said to Peter, very soon, before this day is over, you will deny you ever know me. As Peter already denied him, it has not happened. But God already told him what will happen. The same is true about you. What you are planning to do that you have not already done, God already sees it. And I pray for somebody here. That bad thing you are considering, that thing that you know is not right with God, you are the one God is talking to. By reason of this sermon, you will surrender it in Jesus' name. Each time I have a reason to counsel some workers occasionally, especially the ones that I know, they find it difficult to obey the word of God. I use the example of Judas. That you need to come to the point where you must understand that God sees you in advance. You need to understand that point. He sees you in advance. And because of that, you must caution yourself and just follow what he says. He said to Judas, Judas, I know that you are about to go and betray me. Judas had not betrayed him yet. He was going to betray him. You will think that a wise person will say, ah, he has already caught me, and I will change his mind. But what did Judas do? He still went ahead, and he still did it. God is also watching you in real time. Not only is he watching you in advance, he's watching you as you are doing the things. 